I was thinking the other day how on Easter Sunday, my Uncle Henry Turner used to walk around a fairground with Easter eggs for every single child on that ground, and he used to hand them out to them. And it got me to thinking how the world has changed since then, and how many of us, me included, have been brainwashed into a paranoia over the years. When I look back, I think of my Uncle Billy Main's dad, Sammy, and he's the man on the right of the picture, by the way, who already was an old man when I was a little boy. And he would walk around a fairground, and if he saw any of us kids, he'd put his hand in his pocket and give us some sweets, usually spangles, and then we'd take some. And when I was five, we moved to Burnham on Sea in Somerset to open on the seafront with the arcade. And I spent most of my days playing being a donkey boy on the beach with John Tandy. Now, John Tandy was another man who was a bit like the Pied Piper, and all of us kids used to spend time around him because he had the donkeys and he used to let us play with them. Not once did we think we'd be in danger. Yeah, we were all taught not to take sweets from strangers, not to accept a lift from anybody and all that sort of thing. But it didn't seem as scary then as the media portrays it now. In fact, when I started traveling on the fairgrounds, kids used to come round to our place, knock on the door and ask my wife if I could go out and play. And I'd be there going, can I, can I, can I? And I'd go off and play with the kids. Since those days of the 1980s, there's been such an outpouring from the media about paedophilia that now people have to think about the way they behave. I certainly have. Let me give you an example. Back in the early 2000s, one day a girl about 14 came knocking on our door and asked if my son Henry was there. My wife told her that he wasn't, but she was just about to pick him up and that if she wanted to, she could wait until she got back. I said to my wife that I'd go and get him and she said, don't worry, I've got the keys, I'll go. And so she jumped in the car and off she went. Now this meant I was at home on my own with a teenage girl. And to be honest, it made me panic. So what I did, I turned the telly on, said, just watch the telly and they'll be back in a minute. And I proceeded to go upstairs into my bedroom and phone one of my friends and told him to stay on the phone to me until my wife got back. That's how worried I was about being on my own with this young girl. And to be honest, as the years have gone by, Nothing's really changed. I now live in a village where about five minutes walk from my house is a great big green. On that, on a Saturday and a Sunday, kids play football if we've got football matches. And I've often walked around there and wanted to watch the football because I do like to watch live football. But the problem is an old man my age, on his own, looking at kids playing football, people these days tend to think, what's he up to? And perhaps it's just me, perhaps I'm the one that's paranoid. Because even if I walk past a children's park, I end up looking at the floor until I've passed it for fear that I may look that way and someone thinks the wrong thing. It certainly changed the way I think and the way I act much more differently from when I was in my 20s. Because people have changed and become more politically correct and made people like me feel the way I do. It's even got to the stage where those children that used to ask me to come out and play when they were small are now parents themselves, and they are on Facebook and they're friends of mine, and they'll show photos of their children on it. And I won't even comment for fear that someone thinks that I'm looking at them in the wrong way. Am I the only person who feels this way? If you feel like it as well, please leave a comment down there because I'm feeling quite lonely on it. It's one of these things in the world that's changed that I'm not really happy about. It makes people like me worry how other people think. Sadly, the times feel much less innocent than they used to. And people are now viewed with suspicion compared to how they used to be in days gone by. 
personally, I don't think it's much different to what it was then. There were nasty people out there then. There are nasty people out there now. I think what the difference is, is the way that media have picked up on it and portray it more and more. And as we're now in an internet age, it appears that there is more of it happening than perhaps when we were growing up. What I wonder to myself is, have we progressed really? Does it make things better the way we feel about things now? Because I certainly feel more uncomfortable about things than I did when I was in my 20s. Perhaps that's age, I don't know. But one thing's for sure, I wouldn't be walking around talking to kids and giving them sweets in this day and age because I personally wouldn't feel safe. Now, if you agree with me, please put some comments down below. And um, if you like the content that I'm talking about, please feel free to hit that like button and let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Ta-da now.